How do I use gussets? A gusset is typically a component used to fasten two or more objects together. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes and have a ton of different applications. So while you could stack two pieces of tubing on top of each other and bolt through them, this is going to create a very tall profile that doesn't prevent this thing from rotating. So in those cases, you'll want to use a gusset, which allows your tubes to stay in line with each other and is quite a bit lower profile. There are a lot of different ways to fasten structure together using gussets. For example, if you wanted a 90 degree connection, we have this 90 degree gusset, which allows for a very strong connection and a 90 degree angle. Similarly, we have a T gusset, which allows you to create another 90 degree, but this has more holes along it, which allows for a stronger connection. If you need something a little bit more low profile, we have an inside corner gusset, which allows for the gusset to sit only along the inside edge of a junction. Sometimes you may find that your tube isn't long enough for your application. In those cases, we have a joiner gusset, which allows you to connect multiple lengths of tube together in line with each other. Every once in a while, you may find that you need to mount something at an angle. In those cases, the variable angle gusset can do a great job of allowing you to adjust your angle between zero and 90 degrees. And once you have it, tighten the bolts down to hold it in place. On most of our gussets, they feature a 16 mil hole pattern with a clearance for a number six screw. Now, while this lines up really well with our S3, it can be used in a lot of different applications for really whatever projects you have. To assemble, it's fairly simple. All you need to do is line up your bracket with whatever structure is going underneath it. In this case, it's a piece of S3. Drop your bolt in. You can either place another gusset on the backside or put just a nut and tighten those down. And that creates a very strong connection. For teams not using the S3 extrusion, they can still use these gussets where you would just place your gusset on top of whatever piece of material you have and then use the pre-drilled holes in the gusset as a guide for making your own holes in your own material. We additionally have some slightly more unique gussets. For example, the 4x1 gusset allows you to easily mount structure, let's say to a chassis or to another structure, or has a unique feature allowing you to mount multiple pieces together and form an even stronger inside corner. Gussets can also be used for motion components. Some of our gussets, such as our inch and an eighth bearing gusset, allows you to put an inch and an eighth bearing inside and drive things such as half inch hex or even three eighths hex. Other gussets, such as our Neverest Classic gusset, allow you to mount a Neverest motor to your structure. Some of our gussets are really good for motion. For example, our 12 millimeter bearing gusset allows you to mount a 12 millimeter bearing to the side of a piece of S3 or other structure and create either a pivot joint or a roller joint. Here you have an example of our new end gusset, which allows you to add stuff like wheels and rollers to the end of a piece of S3 tube. Additionally, the end gusset can be used as an arm joint, as shown here. This allows you to pivot the end of a piece of tube. As we can see, gussets allow connections to be very low profile versus simply bolting a piece of tubing to your structure. Here we have an orbital gusset, allowing us to mount an orbital gearbox to the structure and support the end output with a bearing. The use of gussets here allows us to make a very low profile mounting solution to be able to mount this motor to be able to drive something such as an arm like this. Generally, the mounting patterns on our gussets allow for uh, teams to be able to prototype and test different locations for the gusset really quickly. Overall, gussets can be pretty handy, allowing you to keep your mechanisms low profile, strong, and easy to optimize based on your needs. And that is how you use gussets.